just because I see a few people parroting some of my content or responses, which is fine, but I'd like to clarify a little bit. Um, people have commented that, you know, real uh, real quants are model validation because that's what Dimitri does and he is a model validator. Yes, you are correct. Model validation is real quant work. We actually do build stats and math models to challenge models that were built by a development team on the cell side of this. We do lots of statistical testing. Um, we build out more complex frameworks. Many firms, for example, like Wells Fargo, um, a lot of the research side of the quantitative space there, so all the new cutting edge technologies was done in the validation teams, not in the development teams. So again, cell side's a little bit different. Now, that being said, model validation is not the only quant job. Of course, model development on the cell side is also going to be quant, right? Because they're building models with math and stats, utilizing program and applying them to finance. Now, there are also a big area of quants on the buy side, so the investing side. Now, yes, I've taken shots at the buy side here, and I will continue to do so. Um, there are many, many, many firms on the buy side that have slapped a label of quant finance right on the firm. Quant finance, we're the experts, we know everything. Um, and then I talk to some of the employees there and they're frustrated and I go, what's going on? They go, well, I'm not doing real quant work. I mean, I studied in school, this, that, and the other, and you know, I thought we'd be doing complex modeling and math and we're just wasting time doing like analytics and yeah, it's in Python or R or whatever. And sometimes we do it you know, in other languages, but typically it's really high level and it's super easy and I'm not really doing model development. And then I would come in and say, yes, there are many firms that do not do actual quantitative finance on the buy side that say they are quants. Now I'm going to say the exact same thing for the sell side. The vast majority of firms that are small, the majority of banks that are going to be FDIC regulated are not doing quant finance. You want to know how I know? I've worked at one of them. Uh, and I've talked to other people um, that have worked with these firms here as well. The, the standards are lower. They're still trying to do it. So the larger the bank, the more quantitative. Typically, they have more resources, more capital. They can pay better quants, and they can do awesome things. Um, regulations also force them to do things more academically, which is actually more exciting. Um, as you go down the scale, though, and you get into like regional banks, um, you start to slip in the quality here. Now, you're still looking at things that are going to be CCAR regulated. Um, so Federal Reserve, OCC, you're still looking at high quality standards. You're still looking at model development. Now, there are even people inside these firms that are just coasting, right? They're at a big, massive bank. They're not really doing model development. They do the bare minimums. They're not cutting edge. They're not looking to do advanced analytics, like modeling and math and analytics here. They're just coasting. So just because you work at a big firm doesn't mean you're doing it. Uh, if you work at a smaller firm, that's probably less likely on the sell side here, the banking side. Now, if you're on the investing side, there are tons and tons of people that are also just not doing quant finance. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, one of my biggest grinds is people going, oh, I did factor investing and it was awesome and amazing. And they do a presentation, they pitch it to me and I'm just like, yeah, you work in investments and your model didn't even pass any of the statistical tests. You don't even know if your model works. Um, the whole, I'm going to put it here, the whole premise of it being a factor, like the, the Fama French three factor model, the original one, um, they are factors because they are time stationary. They do not change over time or at least not very fast. So you can model these out for longer periods and have reliable models within simple things like OLS or REMA models. Now, if you don't have stationarity and you're blindly regressing things through an OLS and calling them factors, they're not, you're just being stupid. So Anyways, those are my lessons today on Discord questions and answers here from the quant finance space. Um, I'll put a link below as well to the Discord channel. I am sorry. I have posted a few links in the past. They have expired. I didn't realize you have to go in and hit the settings of, you know, make permanent links. So anyways, I look forward to see you guys on the Discord channel. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time. Okay.